What is going on guys, Klepto here and welcome back to Bakugan Battle Brawlers. Today's video, I'm just going to be doing a follow-up video on my stats video because I saw a question in my comments, um, let me find it real quick. So it was from Flame, Flame Blaster 2626 thank you so much for the question by the way. Um, could you do a mini video on which stats are good for certain Bakugan such as Leonidas, Drago, Preus, and possibly his evolutions because I'm doing a Aquas playthrough? Well... First of all, Aquos is an amazing attribute, especially if you're playing in, you know, a certain defensive style or G-Power style, right? So obviously, if we look at every Bakugan that is level 5 on the Aquos attribute, they get a certain special shot, which I will show you really quickly. Alright, here I got the special shots. We got Aqua Spiral. Obviously, Aqua Spiral makes it so your Endurance stat is doubled, right? So, let's just read it. Your Bakugan will be surrounded with water, and your steering will take a much longer time to run out. Basically, you'll be at Endurance 5, or something like that, right? So, obviously, for Aquos, the best thing to do is upgrade your acceleration and your speed, right? And the simple thing is, it's because your Endurance stat will be maxed out most of the time. And, let's just say for someone like Preus, right? Let me just go and show you guys Preus really quickly, right? I've upgraded Preus already. And on any team, no matter what, oh shit, Prius will most of the time be considered an infiltrator because he has an attribute change. You never want to put him on a, like, you, you never want to put him on your own card simply because he can literally double-edged sword you, right? It's not good. Um, you always want him as an infiltrator. Very good if you're going up against, um, you know, someone with Aquos, Subterra, or Darkus. So he could benefit you and he can also be a double-edged sword. But... Here's how I've upgraded him, and that's simply because if he would be my infiltrator, I would want speed 5. He's already at speed 4, which is insane, and I would upgrade his acceleration once, and that's it. And then the rest is G-Power. He doesn't need anything else, because if you do put him on a, like, card, enemy gate card, right, and they do try and sphere attack you, so be it. You will most likely win the battle anyway, considering he has so much Gs. And if you have gone around the map getting g's and like battle items and stuff like that he will be fine okay just you can throw him without getting anything from the map but if you're just gonna throw him on a card i do suggest trying to get something from the map all right you were wondering about leonidas right so if you have a aquos leonidas i do suggest upgrading speed up to four at least and actually i think that's pretty fine in itself you can upgrade g's if you want Leonidas will most likely just be your safe Bakugan. If we're talking at the start of the game, he will most likely be your big boy, your spear attacker, I'd say. Or it's going to be your falconeer. No matter what, he will be your powerhouse. So you will want speed 5 or your acceleration up to 4, right? Because he will always be the one that will be on the enemy gate card attacking. You don't want this guy to be defensive. Your falconeer is also offensive, but let's compare falconeer and Leonidas, right? Falconeer is 260 Gs. Leonidas is free 40 Gs by default. Obviously, he's the better pick. Just upgrade him twice up to level 5 speed and leave him there until, like, you get to the Aquas Arena, right? And then upgrade his G-Power. He doesn't really need anything else. He's pretty balanced out. He doesn't need defense, and he's fine. Now, if we were to look at the best choices for the Aquas Bakugan to pick up, Falconeer is definitely one of the best starters you can get. He has a high endurance stat. A pretty low acceleration, I would upgrade that once, and then he would be a solid infiltrator. So you have two infiltrators on your team. You have one safety infiltrator, which will be your Leonidas, as he will most likely win any battle you put him in. Falconeer will be the one to just take out the small fry, like Stinglash, Robotalion, Serpenoids, all of that stuff. Like, Falconeer can literally take down, you know, Centipoid, Fair Ripper, all of those guys. You just have to play him correctly and build him correctly. Now... The big thing about Aquos is obviously it's special shots, so I do suggest getting someone with pretty high stats by default because you can play very defensively. So if you do happen to get Centipoid, I do suggest literally just not even upgrading speed. Just leave him there and upgrade his G-Power alone, and then every time you get special shot, right, he's the guy that you want to throw. For example, right, if you don't have any other Bakugan in your hand, that is more G-Power, throw him, and get all the G's on the map and just land on a card. And he'll probably win 100% of the time. Or he will be doing a good job at baiting your opponent to use their cards. Siege, amazing. 
just all around her. Um, no matter what attribute, any attribute might want Siege. But do keep in mind, after getting Siege, Terror Claw will be unlocked. So Terror Claw is most likely a better option, and he is a better option for most attributes. Now the thing about every attribute is they all got a different playstyle. Aquos, they got the Endurance going for them. Pyrus, they have the Speed going for them. Basically their Sphere Attacks are way better than everybody else. So you want Speed at 5, no matter what. Uh, Subterra is more of a defensive one because of their cards. So you always want defense to be pretty high. And, you know, one Infiltrator, you can have Speed 5, you know, it's, it is what it is. Um... But if we're talking Prius to Angelo and Prius to Diablo, I would say they're both literally just goaded. It it literally doesn't matter which one you pick. You can't go wrong with his stats. You just have to like I would put them both as infiltrators, to be honest. Um any Bakugan that is not your own attribute, I would literally just put as an infiltrator. Right? So I would upgrade their speed to five, both of them. And they can either be, you know. Safety hazards, you can put them on your own cards, or you can put them on enemy cards, which will be even better, considering, imagine you go up against Tigrera, right? You could Sphere Attack with Angelo, and you can get the same benefit that Tigrera would from a card that is Chaos, right? That's what's so powerful about these guys right here, because you could put them in any situation, and they'll be amazing infiltrators. They'll always gain G-Power from the highest gaining G-Power on that card between their two attributes. So, if you're going up against Drago, and he has a 160 Pyrus card and a 20 Aquos, right? You'll be getting 160 from that. So just upgrade their speed to 5, both of them, right? And just upgrade their G-Power. They don't need anything else. They're fine the way they are. But like I was saying, um, if you are making an Aquos team, Laser Man has to be on your team. The Endurance stat and the Defense stat are more than enough to warrant a uh, place on the team. I would also try to push Terra Claw on the team because he has a pretty high defense stat. And Aquos and Subterra are very defensive uh, attributes. So I definitely think that's the play. For other attributes, such as Pyrus, always go for speed. Speed has to be maxed out because when you get that Pyrus Strike, it's almost a guaranteed KO right there. I haven't done it myself simply because I'm not too good with Pyrus. And um, I'm usually not lucky when it comes to the spare attacks, so I just don't bother. But you should definitely do it if you're going through a uh, blind playthrough or just, you know, you want to finish it as quickly as possible. For Ventus, it's kind of mixed, I'm not going to lie. People might think that Ventus is all about, you know, getting around the map. It, it kind of is, and it kind of isn't. Their special shot is made so that they can get all the Gs around them. So you could pretty easily say that, you know, they need to have jumps so that they can access very high places and stuff like that. No, you really don't. You really don't. What you want to focus on with Ventus is endurance. Endurance and acceleration is key. Because if you have their special shot, they will be getting all the G power in the map. If you just have the right endurance and acceleration. But yeah, you definitely want Laser Man. Um, and you can upgrade his jump once. Because, you know, he has the best endurance and acceleration stat out of all the Bakugan. So he's definitely the play, and if you upgrade jump once, then you can guarantee getting on those trampolines, and then focus on G-Power, obviously. Darkus, I mean, like I've said before, Darkus is literally just absorbing G-Power, so it doesn't really matter what you pick here. They're basically all-arounders, but I would still do uh, sphere attacks with them, simply because, you know, they're kind of broken. Aos, I mean, Aos is kind of like an all-around attribute. They're kind of good in both scenarios where they got good cards, they have a lot of good character cards, but still, I do think that they are more of a um, endurance-based attribute, and they could be versatile, so I'd say you could build them with spare attacks, you can build them defensively, you could build them very offensively, no, it doesn't really matter, I don't think it matters. And l finally, the least liked attribute, we got Subterra. Um, 100% a defensive attribute. Um, the reason being, their special shot is pretty, I mean, eh, it's kind of mediocre. All right, here we are. Let's take a look at Subterra Quake. Obviously, just by the name and the look of it, it's going to lower every Bakugan nearby's G-Power. So it's kind of like Darkest Strike, but kind of worse. Your Bakugan will have the force of a boulder. When your Bakugan stands, it will cause a huge earthquake and increase your opponent's G-Power. Now, I'm not sure if that depends on your stats, but I'm pretty sure it's random. I think it's random. I can't say for sure, though, because I haven't used it since, like, what, 2014? <laughs>
Uh, let's just take a look at Chaos Lightning as well. Your Bakugan will be wrapped in Lightning and its cheap power will increase until the end of your shot. So, like I said, you can build them however you want, though Endurance will probably be your best shot. Literally just going around the map collecting and you're going to have one of the strongest Bakugan on the field. And Pirate Strike, obviously, your Bakugan will be engulfed in flame and will move very fast. Fairy Attacks will do extra damage and even breaking crystals in the environment won't slow your Bakugan down. So, um, yeah. Pyrus, Speed, Aquos, Endurance, and um, Endurance and uh, the movability thing, right? Basically, so you move quicker. Subterra so Quake, I mean, I want to say you want to do, I would say defense, because, you know, it's kind of broken. And then Chaos, you want Endurance. Darkest, you want Sphere, or Speed, right? I mean, it, it's up to you, honestly. It doesn't matter. It's up to you. It's versatile. It's versatile. Inventus, I would say go Endurance, and the same as Aquos, basically. These two are the same. Um, this one's just Endurance, Speed, Versatile, and Defense. So yeah, that will be it for this video, guys. I hope this did actually uh, give you guys some insight on what I think. This is just my personal opinion. If you think something else, then by all means, that's, that's you. If you want to comment it down below what you think is better, or if you think I'm wrong, by all means do. I definitely think I'm not 100% right. But I'm fairly certain I'm close, okay? So uh, do take this with a grain of salt. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace.